नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग स्टेप फाइव ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन एक्सरसाइज वन इज ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ दैट इज ऑब्जर्विंग द कॉन्शसनेस बाय द कॉन्शसनेस एंड गोइंग फ्रॉम स्टेप वन टू स्टेप फाइव वी हैव बीन ऑब्जर्विंग शार्पली आवर इमेजिनेशन इन पर्टिकुलर द फीलिंग एंड देन इवेल्युएटिंग इट and then now we are trying to transform it so at step 1 we try to see the imagination as it is without any evaluation without any judgment without any reaction without any effort to change or stop or anything just as it is and there we could see that essentially i need to observe my feeling because the feeling drives my thought and the thought drives my expectation and then the behavior and work outside so we try to be aware of the imagination and the feeling in step one and this is something that i have to keep doing every moment i have to be aware of my feeling every moment at step two we try to find out whether the feeling that i have at this moment is naturally acceptable to me or not that is to say whether i want to continue with it that is to say whether it is in accordance with human nature or not there we could become more aware of the natural acceptance when we go to explore a common mistake is that we try to evaluate our imagination at the level of thought and try to compare it with our natural acceptance which doesn't work the verification takes place when i am able to observe the feeling inside me and then try to you know see whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not now in step 3 we look at the state of being whether i am comfortable inside or not whether i am in harmony i am happy inside or not in step 4 we try to make out who is responsible for the decision of the feeling is it me or some other person or some situation outside and we could make out that i am 100% responsible for the feeling that i have in me and that i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness with this we could get free of the grudges and complaints about others also we could feel more committed to developing the right understanding because ultimately if i am responsible for my unhappiness then i have to develop myself i have to work upon myself in step 5 now we are trying to see whether the feeling that i have at this moment it based on right understanding or some assumption and as we were discussing yesterday also the more i explore into it i am also able to see my incompetence have i been able to understood understand anything do i understand the human being do i understand the relationship do i understand the rest of nature do i understand the existence if not then i am working by assumptions whenever i have to interact with the other human being the rest of nature or even when i have to imagine about something inside me i am mostly working by assumptions and in step 5 then we get more and more aware of our incompetence our lack of understanding right our assumptions our deep sanskars and then i am in a better position now to work on my deep rooted sanskars this is what is actually required to be done we were assuming something to be real which is not real it is just my assumption about reality it may be the case that sometimes my assumption matches with the reality sometimes it doesn't match with the reality but essentially i don't see the reality so i am just going by my assumptions about reality without knowing the reality when i see this i feel committed now to develop the right understanding in me because in spite of all my education all the fans following all the things that i am gathering outside ultimately i remain incompetent because i do not see the reality as it is so i have to work upon myself i have to see the reality and if you see this very motivation to see the reality has only brought us in this morning session so it has been working inside us only that we are trying to enrich it further we are trying to develop it further 
So this is what we concluded in step five. With that, we took the assignment. I'll read it out. This was the assignment of step five that we have shared the study of the last slide of step five. Whenever you observe that you are having the thought of another person in your imagination, observe your feeling for this person. How did you decide this feeling? Was it based on right understanding or on some assumption in the absence of right understanding? So whenever you have some thought about some other person, okay, then ask yourself, am I imagining with right understanding about this person or just by assumption? Reflect on your interaction with this person. How was your feeling towards this person during the interaction? Now, it may be the case that we interact with so many people in a day, right? Sometimes we get a little uncomfortable. Sometimes we get reactive. Sometimes we are at peace and things go on passing by. But it is doable that I go over those incidences and try to make out my feeling in those moments when i saying this word to my friend was i comfortable when i was interacting with the security guard at the gate was i comfortable what was my feeling towards the security guard what was the feeling towards my friend what was my feeling towards the student who entered my office without my permission what was the feeling towards the colleague you know who passed some judgment about me to my superior so I can recollect all those moments and try to see that the feeling that I had at that moment, was it naturally acceptable to me? Was I comfortable at that moment? And if I can at least analyze that, yes, I am responsible. So I can find out for myself whether that feeling was based on right understanding or some assumption. So we may be passing by such 100 incidents and as we are mentioning that we are used to overlook certain things. We are sometimes waiting for some special occasions when we can evaluate our feeling. But that is not the case. If we just keep on waiting for some special occasions to evaluate ourselves, then it is simply clear that we are overlooking minor incidences in our life. We are overlooking our feeling when things are comfortable outside when situation is favorable outside. And in fact, if you observe your feeling at those moments and evaluate, then you can also see the seed of the reaction inside. Maybe I'm comfortably working in my office, right? And I feel that everything is okay. Suddenly somebody enters my room, banging at the door, and I become uncomfortable. So I was assuming that you know, nobody would be disrespecting me. Nobody would be doing anything like that. But that is not the case. Something like that has happened. And if I get disturbed, I think if I get angry, anxious on such occasions, it means there was something wrong with the assumption that I was carrying before this incident happened. If I'm assuming that, yes, everybody around me is going to act the way I am expecting them to, right? then this is a common assumption. We are filled up with so many assumptions about should and shouldn't, do's and don'ts, you know, about others. The others should be doing this, the others should not be doing that. Right? So, in place of overlooking you know, so many moments in a day, I can be observant about every moment. I may not ignore any incident. And gradually, we see that we may come to a state where we do not ignore any movement of the body also. We are very much observant about whatever I am doing. So that level of awareness is required. With that level of awareness about my feeling, if I can go through all these steps, then a very drastic kind of transformation will start in me. Reflect on your feeling towards this person when he or she misbehaves with you, disturbs or irritates you. How are you deciding your feeling towards this person now? Is your feeling based on right understanding or on some assumption in the absence of right understanding? 
if your feeling is based on natural acceptance, you will have the right feeling for the other. You will be comfortable within and the feeling will be definite. If the feeling within keeps changing or is making you uncomfortable, there's a need for having the right understanding. So are you comfortable or uncomfortable inside? Can you take a fresh look at the occurrence just as it happened without attaching meaning to it, without any preconditioning? but rather on the basis of a natural acceptance with a feeling of relationship. Nice, so many things to observe, right? And we all are busy with our life, so many things we have to do in a day. But as you are saying that, in spite of being busy, we can still observe. We can still observe ourselves, doing our daily chores, taking care of the body, Okay, doing our official work, we can always you know, ask ourselves, what is the feeling underlying my thought at this moment? I'm thinking something we are very much able to make out. But what is the feeling underlying this thought? I, can I see that? Nice. So, if there is any question or reflection regarding the assignment that you took yesterday, you, and you may raise your hand and ask. If there is no question, then what we can do? We can you know, observe for 10 minutes. Try to recollect all the moments. Try to recollect the moments that you overlooked yesterday or overlooked since morning today. So, Bhaiya, I want to say that, um, say you know some persons who uh, acted very selfishly um, in many walks you have done. And then uh, how to, uh, when you uh, understand yourself and trying to evaluate uh, oneself uh, and to be comfortable always, then how can, how can one assure oneself that um, the assumptions are not correct, uh, assumptions are not according to the right understanding. So, so this is, this is something uh, difficult because we have been working with lots and people always. So for many years, maybe we are knowing those people. But after that also, how can we assure ourselves? Or up to what point we should we must assure that we must be comfortable in our feeling and the assumptions that we are taking is not according uh, to the reality or uh, how do uh, we have to know about the reality? What is actually that reality? See, what you are saying essentially means that you are looking at the reality as an expression of that person in terms of conduct. The other person you know, has been somewhat cheating upon or somewhat you know, doing something unworthy of him. So this is his or her conduct. How about mm. the intention of the other? So if, even if I start looking about, uh, looking at my assumption about the intention of the other, this will raise a lot of inquiry in me. What have I assumed about the intention of the other? If I can see very much that the other person is uncomfortable inside. The other person is craving for so many things, for money, for power, for post, for mm -hmm. fame. So yes. he or she is going to do all this. Mm -hmm. Then he gets explained. Then I'm not waiting for some critical point. I'm not saying that this is my threshold. Up to this point, I will not react. But after this point, I will react. Even if I am looking for a threshold, then it means mm -hmm. that I am reacting inside. I'm not comfortable inside. It's only a matter of the limit that he or she is going to cross. But when I'm able to see that the other person is highly preconditioned, he has craving for so many things, and that's why he or she is doing something on that line only, then mm. I can see my role with the other person. The other person needs to understand. Mm. See, if somebody is unhealthy, you know? mm. like somebody has caught cold, then he or she would be sneezing, that is going to happen. Now, I'm only looking at the sneezing part. This other person keeps on sneezing in front of me, right? And I'm getting mm -hmm. reactive. But the other person is sneezing because the other person is caught cold. 
Mm. You know, if somebody has caught cold, he or she would be sneezing. This is mm. going to happen. There's nothing strange about it. It is mm. just a similar example. In a similar manner, if other person does not have right understanding, he or she mm. would be committing a mistake. And that will be there with me also. So proactively, I have to see how to make this person healthy. If the person gets rid of cold, then naturally he will not be sneezing. Mm. But my attention is only towards the sneezing part, not towards the cold or the you know, uh, problem with the health that the other is suffering from. So mm -hmm. I do not have that feeling of relationship anymore because I'm not able to see how the other person is suffering because of cold. My concern is only about sneezing, that the other person should not be sneezing in front of me. Mm -hmm. so in manner, I can see that the other person is not only misbehaving with me, he may be having with the spouse, with the children, with the students, mm -hmm. with the colleagues, with the body, mm -hmm. right? Because the other person is not comfortable inside. Mm -hmm. The other person is highly preconditioned. He is somewhat sick inside. Mm -hmm. So I have to work on that sickness. I have to work for the health. I have to work for the competence, you know, develop the competence of the other. If I can do this, the expression will naturally get transformed. Mm. Okay, here. Yeah. Uh, Bhaiya, yeah, there's an observation as well as I would like to ask you that are, are these right feelings or not? Like sometimes it happens so or uh, it is being happening so that somebody on a policy decision is uh, out of the job. Uh, so as a uh, decision taken by the policy matters. But unfortunately, the person assumes that uh, I can be instrumental in reinstating the individual. So through that, what is happening, that each time uh, like uh, I have, uh, like I'm meeting, so each time he's very hyperbolic about uh, uh, me and all, which uh, we call over-evaluation. And then I very politely say, hey, it is not so. Uh, let us accept the policy decisions. And whatever possible best I can do for you, I will do. So I see the relationship also there. And I also see the person's intention because uh, he's some way or the other disturbed that uh, I won't be. But at the same time, there is an uh, there is a situation that he's already overaged. So it's not possible at all. So then uh, uh, like, and even sometimes I feel bad that... Uh, why is he assuming like this, which uh, like I'm not able to do it. And many a times I've tried explaining that this is not the thing. And so uh, uh, so though, uh, so though, these are certain feelings that comes to me. And sometimes I'm also getting a little, uh, you know, uh, can I say it, concerned or disturbed. That is, I'm not able to concentrate sometimes. I say that how to explain this person that uh, I'm not instrumental in reinstating this uh, about a policy decision. So I can't have much say in this. So this is one situation. And sometimes we are, that happens, like when I see my, um, the one who works in my, the, my uh, house helper. So uh, she uh, is expecting a baby. And so, uh, you know, once she went home and uh, uh, she was beaten up by her um, husband. So uh, I was a little uh, disturbed and I told, I ask your husband to talk to me and you're not, uh, you're unwell and this is not the time. But then she said, no, no, no problem. Uh, I told him that uh, whatever you do, you don't do it outside. Uh, you do it inside the home that I can tolerate. But you see the way he did it outside. So <laughs> these all thoughts are coming to me. So uh, how does uh, it, uh, I mean, I'm not able to put it into right question that how are these feelings to be tackled? Yeah, so in the first instance, somehow the person has come to over evaluate you or it may be the case that the person has a craving for getting reinstated and he might also be using some words just to motivate you to work for that so you can simply share with the other that this is not the case okay and you can just share that i will whatever i'll do it will be as per the guidelines of the university i'll not do anything which is unethical i have to go by the guidelines Right. And we can also see the need of the other. We can suggest different ways to fulfill the needs of the other. So, so that the other person 
you not totally dependent on this particular job you can also try to investigate and share the reason for which this person has been fired and we can invite him to, to go for some program where his conduct can be transformed because whatever new job he goes for ultimately his preconditioning is going to be involved in that also and there also he may commit a mistake so we have to guide the other properly that guidance is required in the second instance yes we have a feeling of relationship for the mate who has been beaten by the husband right so she also needs to develop the right understanding and her husband also requires to develop the right understanding so i can see my program with the other whenever i see somebody suffering i can always see my program for the other that ultimately this person also does not have the right understanding and right feeling so can i do something to develop the right feeling in the other can i do something to develop right understanding in the other it also may be the case that this woman also did some mistake you know, the husband also did some mistake only that the reaction went beyond a level and that's why beating took place but she also might not be having definite conduct because of which the husband got irritated the husband was also not having right conduct that's why he went up to this limit so i can see the lack of competence on either side in place of feeling you know just for the maid i can also see the problem with the husband i can see that intention of both husband and wife have been good okay has been good but ultimately the competence has been lacking so you are just aware of the incident when the husband has beaten the wife but there could be so many occasions when the wife might also have instigated the husband by using some profane language okay so you can also get aware of the incompetence of this maid also so generally what happens now we get pained by observing only one part of the story when we listen to the complete story then we are more aware of the lack of competence of the other right right probably that's true yeah yes. that's true but it's disturbing when like you know uh, like though i'll have uh, like i feel that uh, it's pity like when we hear one side story so you know we start sympathizing that uh, you know so that disturbs a little bit yeah so we have to get to see the whole story we can ask the maid also that why this happened what had you done what had the husband done it may be the right. case for example that the husband is a drunkard and he is asking for money from the wife and wife is not agreeing then the husband is completely at fault but if some quarrel is taking place right and both are using profane language one person became physically violent so that is another scenario when both are at fault so you have to look into the complete thing so that we are able right. to do the right evaluation in fact when we try to become sympathetic to someone without getting to know the whole thing then you see that we also commit mistake in our evaluation maybe i have over evaluated with this person now next time when i have to deal with we deal with this person okay and the conditioning that the other person has if that gets involved in our uh, mutual interaction then i also start feeling disturbed the other way i feel pity for this person i gave her money so that she can get her treated and she wasted this money now you have another kind of feeling for the male right right so this kind of fluctuation also takes place right so then probably the one. yeah yes please, please continue sorry fine it is always desirable that whenever we come across such situation we can get to know the whole thing and at the core i am able to see that the intention of every human being is fine the competence is lacking okay it's only that i have been able to see the lack of competence on only one side but it could be lacking on so many other fronts the husband may be for example benevolent in so many ways but on one part he is so violent so i have to look at the complete picture yes that's right he is benevolent because as i see but then uh, yes as you said uh, the situation where drinking comes yes uh, since he drinks so that is the ultimate he he loses all his uh, reasonability when he is drunk 
so Indeed. other times he's very good so yes probably that's the reason correct thank you so much bhaiya namaste in fact when we look at such scenarios we can look at the larger problem why people are hmm. drinking ha huh, right right you know what can be done to avoid this drinking we will also see that people who are doing too much of physical work in the sun outside they hmm. need some thing you know which can remove the pain from the body so if you talk hmm. to the laborers you can also get to see why they drink why they go for you know non veg or so much spicy food you know so the kind of condition in which they are working and hmm. with the limited income that they have so they try to justify why we go for such practices so on one side you know this could be there on the other hand it could also be there that the person is attuned to drinking he has got used to drinking so once it, one develops the taste then one starts going for drinking right right regularly so right and the... yes thank yes bhaiya yeah bhaiya please continue i'm so sorry i'm just intervening maybe fine fine so if you look no, at the complete picture the labor class you know they are consuming so many things why are they consuming hmm like if you look at the elite class of the society they are drinking for taste maybe right but why this labor class is drinking so much yes if yes if you look at the condition in which they are working you know it may be pathetic yes yes absolutely conflict. yeah so okay. you have to look at the complete thing and see what could be the solution there if a house is getting built then somebody is preparing bricks in the brick kilns if you go to the brick kilns stay with them for a few days you can see the pathetic condition in which they are working and then yes. you will have a feeling that no they should be provided this much of facility the moment you think that they will be provided this much of facility the cost of a single brick will get you know multiplied three times then the building cost would get you know <laughs> one and a half times more then we again start mm. thinking that if we start doing all this then what will be the cost of the building then who can afford the building with the limited income then how will the people ensure so much of income look at the complete scenario then you will have empathy right. for every aspect yeah right right and uh, moreover like uh, the climate particularly if i am to talk about this place the like uh, uh, bhubaneswar and uh, so it's very hot these days so the climate is also very harsh so for the mm -hmm. and people are though the government rule mandate goes from 11 to 3 people are not supposed to go out but the uh, laborers they are engaged and they are not asked to sit under the shade until and unless their uh, owners are a little bit uh, more uh, meticulous about their and more rational about the understanding that the labor is also a human being and uh, he needs also to be on the under the shade that's one thing and uh, the most important thing is nevertheless we have a change of government after a very long time and the present uh, cm has announced from july 1st there'll be no uh, you know outlets of this liquor so hopefully <laughs> some outcome comes out of that uh, yes we are very truly said that we have to understand about all these circumstantial things as well right thank you so much bhaiya namaste namaste so let us do this exercise for the next 10 minutes and then we'll discuss further so we will not discuss anything in this 10 minutes we'll just observe we'll try to go over all such instances that happened yesterday try to not overlook anything try to just observe moment to moment you know whatever happened and then try to evaluate and then see the condition in the assumption inside
nice. So you have to keep observing this, right? And now, as we are saying that, what makes me uncomfortable? We are trying to list out all those situations or moments. In a similar manner, now we can observe that when I get comfortable, what is the assumption inside me? When I'm getting disturbed, I'm getting irritated, you know, what is the assumption inside me? So now we can make a list of all those assumptions also. What do I assume about myself, about the other? So what do I assume about myself, my student, my peer group, my subordinate, my superior, my father, my mother, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, my children, the children of my you know, sister-in-law. All those things I can list out. How do I assume? What do I assume? So I can make a, also a list of all these assumptions, right? And then try to see that whether this assumption is based on right understanding or simply I have you know, assumed it without verification. So when I interact with different people, I have different feelings. With some I feel related, with some I feel opposed. Looking at someone, I start feeling irritated. Looking at someone, I feel like talking to the other. So all the likes and dislikes in me. Okay, the reactions inside me. What makes me feel that this situation is favorable? What makes me feel that the other situation is unfavorable? Assumptions that I'm carrying inside me. We can make a list of all the assumptions also. Assumption about human being, assumption about relationship. We can also look at relationship in terms of our fulfillment with parents, with children with friends, with teacher, with student. So how do I look at my profession? If I'm teaching at a college, what do I assume about the teaching profession? Is it only a means of earning income for my family? Or am I also seeing it as a way to participate in the order in the society? How do I look at my profession? How do I look at my locality? How do I look at my house? How do I look at my belongings? What have I come to assume about this? All thing. Is it right understanding? Or I have assumed something without verification. So I can take a note of all these assumptions inside me. And then we can filter out and see the common assumptions about the human being, the common assumption about trees, the plants, the animals, the birds. What are the underlying common assumptions? If I start questioning them, then I can be in a better position to contemplate about my relationship, understand the harmony, the innateness. If I start questioning further, I can be in a better position to you know, see the submergence, how everything in this whole existence is so well organized how every unit is fulfilling every other unit. What have I come to assume about this? Am I going by some stories, by some morals, okay. by some uh, thing that has been written in the textbooks, or have I been able to understand all those things? So I may be carrying numerous assumptions inside me. Right? I may not be aware. Only that when I have to face someone, I have to participate in some situation, I might become aware. So proactively, I can start working on all these assumptions inside me and try to evaluate it and replace it with right understanding. So this is what we are going to do in the next step now. So step six is about right understanding to ensure right natural feeling. In step five, you could see that the need that we need right understanding to ensure right natural feeling and thereby a state of happiness in the self. So in 6a, what we are saying is that it is important to understand the feelings that are natural for me, the feelings that I want in continuity. So let us ask, which feeling is naturally acceptable to me? The feeling of relationship or feeling of position? Now, try to look into all those situations. 
the true sharing took place today. Okay, in a similar way, we all have so many things to share. Now try to look back in all those situations and try to see that if I was getting irritated, I was getting disturbed, I was getting anxious, whatever was happening inside me. Okay, now was I feeling opposed to the other person or was I feeling related to the other person? If I was getting opposed, then I can ask myself, you know, is it naturally acceptable to me? If I was feeling related, I can ask myself, is the feeling naturally acceptable to me? So what is essentially you know, acceptable to me naturally? I can find out for myself. Relationship or opposition. Similarly, harmony or disharmony. Now, when you start asking these questions to yourself, you start questioning further. What is essentially relationship? What do I call as relationship? What do I call as harmony? When do I say that this is harmony, this is disharmony? What is the meaning of this harmony? What is the meaning of relationship? Similarly, you can ask yourself, what is naturally acceptable to me? The feeling of coexistence or the feeling of struggle? So is the whole nature by way of struggle or by way of coexistence? Now there again, you will get so many questions when you start questioning you know, yourself regarding coexistence. If a volcano is erupting and so many plants are dying, right? animals are dying, maybe humans are also dying, will I still call it coexistence or something else? Is not a struggle there in the nature? Am I just assuming it again? Because somebody taught me that the whole nature is by way of struggle and somebody is now saying that the nature is by way of coexistence. So I was earlier assuming one thing, now I'm assuming something else, but I may still be assuming. So first of all, I'll ask myself, what is naturally acceptable to me? And the more I explore into this, I'll start getting into the meaning of all this. Okay. So this is the next thing doable. We could see in step five that I have to make out the basis of my feeling. Is it based on right understanding or based on some assumption? Now, when I'm able to make out that, yes, it was assumption because I was not comfortable inside. The feeling was not acceptable to me naturally. It was making me unhappy. Then I can now start asking that if this is assumption, then what is right understanding? So how to make out? Now, one option is that I may say to myself that, yes, a position was you know, based on assumption. So this should not be there. But if this should not be there, then what should be there? I'm not clear. So how to make out? For that, I have to question myself. What is naturally acceptable to me? And this is something that we are able to say at the outset that yes, feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable. Feeling of harmony is naturally acceptable. But it may be the case that I'm just looking at the word and analyzing the meaning. But can I see the same thing in every situation I am passing through? Can I see the same thing at the heat of the moment when somebody is trying to irritate me, somebody is not behaving properly with me? Can I ask myself? You'll get to see that if this is there in your imagination that I have to keep on doing this exercise and somebody is not behaving properly with you and you ask yourself, with this person at this moment, in this situation, what is naturally acceptable to me? Relationship or opposition? Ask yourself at that point, and you'll see that your feeling gets transformed or starts getting transformed. The moment you remember that, yes, intention of every human being is fine, only that the competence may be lacking. So you ask yourself, when this person is behaving in such a manner to me, what is his intention? Does he not want to humiliate me? Does it not want to show me down? If not, then why is doing this? Then you also get to see what intention means, what relationship means, what opposition means, what want means. So we have to question these things. So 
within me, I have to make it clear to myself what is my natural experience for. But yeah, uh, just now you told uh, by volcano or some other happenings in the nature, uh, we are bound to uh, think over it and get in the midst of something. So likewise, when I turn a uh, newspaper, just so nowadays I got the things or some improvement in me. I am not reading that news, news of the accidents or bad happenings or, or something like that. So, I, this, while reading the news, something uh, like disharmony in us or myself. So, by seeing that picture or turning the page, I am avoiding it nowadays yes, to get in harmony. So, uh, is it related to this discussion? Please, Baya. Yeah. Not very clear what you said. You are not Sorry, reading newspapers these days, so you are not getting uncomfortable. That's what you are saying, Baya? Uh -huh. No, I am avoiding bad news from the newspaper. Headlines, I can see, suppose there is a great accident. So then if I go through that whole news, miss, there is a disharmony. But if I am not reading whole, so I am comfortable. Are you getting my question? Yeah. Like, like any solution. Yeah. See, avoiding some news is not the solution. Yeah. So I can rightly evaluate the whole situation. Yeah. In a study, we got a news that because of the heat, 550 people died in Makkah. Yeah. Right? So yeah. if I avoid this news, it doesn't mean that I am you know, having the right understanding. I can get to know about this news. May not be all the details because the major concern is about you know, how to make Earth livable for people. Now the way we have been utilizing the energy resources and the way the temperature is going up and the yeah, way yeah, right, right. Yes. all this uh -huh. is bound to happen so yeah. now in case of getting disturbed i can see my program how many trees i am going to plant in the coming rainy season yes yes, yes. Right. so in case of avoiding the news okay i'll mm -hmm. get to see the takeaway from it and i can see my role now in the society in the nature okay if i'm using ac then can I cut down the use of AC? Can I avoid using the AC? Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you try to contemplate upon all such issues, we get more clear vision of our humane society. Mm -hmm. Now, the way we are constructing the buildings, the way we are exploiting the resources, the way we are cutting down the trees. So somehow or the other, this is going to happen. So what would be the alternative? If this is not done, then how will you make our houses? How will we have our living? Okay, how will we fulfill our needs? So we start now looking at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that no need to go into all the details, but if I'm feeling disturbed by going to details, then this is my incompetence. Ha. Ah, yes. Means okay. No sooner I see the uh, headlines, I can start from contemplating on what is to be done to make the things right. Is it Bhaiya? Yes. yes. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thanks very lot. Nice discussion. Yeah, thank you. Namaste, Sariko. So in step 6a, we are asking to ourselves, you know, what is naturally acceptable to me? Feeling of relationship or opposition? Right? So let me ask this to you. You can respond to the chat box. What is naturally acceptable to you? Relationship or opposition? You can respond in the chat box. Nice relationship. Nice. Now, just try to go over the incident that happened with you yesterday when we became uncomfortable, somewhat irritated about the other. Okay. Then try to look into the same situation, take a moment, and then try to observe in that situation, at that moment, with that person, what was naturally acceptable to you, relationship or opposition? Okay, Arunachalam Ji is saying theoretically relationship. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what. So, now 
now we start investigating further okay atul ji saying up position now this is something doable okay so like when i am just looking at the level of thought i will always agree with relationship but when i start looking to the feeling and i was getting opposed then i must have some justification there when i was getting opposed and somehow i was not able to make out in that situation whether i was naturally accepting the feeling of relationship or opposition okay cbg is saying opposition now you can see the way our response is changing why is that happening it means at the level of thought we decide that yes relationship is acceptable naturally but at the level of feeling it is not clear right and this may be common to all of us so try to observe again you know, in all those situations and ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you and it's not that the time has ceased now we you know, are again going to interact today and tomorrow keep on asking this to yourself at the heat of that moment also ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to me then you will get fresh questions now what is this proposal saying this person is shouting at me and i am saying that feeling of relationship is acceptable to me naturally so what do i do i submit to the other okay i do not say anything to the other i let the other person get violent with me if naturally a feeling of relationship is acceptable then what would be my program now so we'll get some fresh questions that is exploration deeper you know exploration at a deeper level so keep on asking this to yourself in words you may agree that yes feeling of relationship is acceptable to me naturally but it may not be my real state it may not be my actual state right and doing this long process it will take long time you have asked so many assignment to me that also i am doing in that case uh in you know, i will do the assignment and give the correct uh, right understanding then i should yeah, so this is the assignment then i will discuss it directly some phone number or something otherwise i am i think i am wasting your time and others time also so i need a personally think to discuss with you and clarify something yes you can always take my number so i'll share it here also okay thank and you can discuss it yeah thank you i'm just mentioning my number here ji nice so let thank us you. observe this closely thank in you. words we can agree but agreeing or disagreeing is not the issue the issue is to observe okay asking oneself sincerely similarly what is naturally acceptable to me feeling of harmony or disharmony what is naturally acceptable to me feeling of coexistence or struggle so here again we will not try to conclude in place of trying to conclude in words we'll try to conclude within us okay and it may take years that is quite possible it may get over in few days also it may be possible in few days also but if i keep on questioning that process itself is enriching and you'll see that our imaging also gets developed in the process when i question such basic things to me and i start question so many things now related to my living my fulfillment of relationship my fulfillment of needs of the family my fulfillment of my role in society if this is harmony then is it acceptable to me naturally if not then what is harmony if this is relationship then is it acceptable to me naturally if not then what is acceptable to me so we start questioning so many things now so let us keep on doing this now with some observation but again i am keeping it tentative it's not that by today or tomorrow we have to conclude this in fact 
asking openly is more important than concluding if you ask openly and try to look into the ceiling try to look into the reality as a pure observer that is going to be more enriching than concluding something so it's not that we have to settle to an agreement that yes ceiling of relationship is acceptable to me naturally no okay, let us keep it open then also see or you we may also feel that okay it is somewhat subjective with few people feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable with few people feeling of opposition only is acceptable to me naturally it may be the case that you start feeling like this you start thinking on these lines so that open observation you know is more important we try to conclude with when we are like we try to conclude whenever we are again being somewhat dictated by some preconditioning some assumption so let us look into this closely today and in place of concluding let us observe no need that i should be called a good person no no need that i have spent so many years through and you know, uhb so i must be having this kind of judgment in me no keep it open and observe ask yourself very gently you know nice it is time now so we'll stop the english part here